consumer surplus. And as long as you understand what increases and reduces consumer surplus, you should be okay. An increase in consumer surplus may result for a decrease in the price. Because, again, when you actually, when the price is lower, the difference between how much you're willing to pay for that good and whatever you pay for the good is actually larger. Same example with uh, a CD. If you're willing to pay $15 for a CD and the CD costs $10, well, you get $5 of surplus. But if all of a sudden the CD price goes down to $5, instead of getting $5 of surplus, you actually get $10. $15 you're willing to pay minus the $5 you actually pay. So any, any of these choices that increases Any of the choices here that reduces the price will increase consumer surplus. An increase in the price of John Mayer's is the opposite of what I said. B, an increase in the supply of John Mayer's will in fact reduce the price of the good and that would increase consumer surplus. So the answer is B. Now this one uh, is also about consumer surplus, but it, you, know, you need to understand that different, con different consumers have different consumer surpluses and people will buy something as long as a Willingness to pay for something is higher than the actual price they pay. So if the price is one dollar, well, e Eli will buy the first song because he's willing to pay four fifty. He buys the second song because he's willing to pay three fifty. He buys the third song because he's willing to pay two fifty, and he also buys the fourth song because he's willing to pay one fifty. He won't buy the fifth song because he's willing to pay fifty cents for it, and it costs one dollar. Madison, on the other hand will buy the first sum because she's willing to pay three and the cost is one. She'll buy the second sum because uh, she's willing to pay two and the cost is one. And she also buy the third sum, although she doesn't make any surplus on that. So to calculate the surplus, you calculate the surplus on Eli's first four songs, 450 minus one, 350, 350 minus one, 250, 250 minus one, 150, 150 minus one, 150 cents. And then you add that to Madison's willingness to pay, which is three, for the first song, minus one is two dollars, two dollars in surplus, and then second song, two dollars. She's willing to pay minus the one dollar is one dollar in surplus. And you add all those surpluses, the answer you come up with is eleven dollars, which is C. Now this one has to do with uh, the same way we did the opportunity is a re opportunity cost is a reason why the demand curve is downward sloping. The reason why the supply curve is upward sloping is because at higher prices, buyers. Are a lot more buyers are able to meet their costs. In other words, at higher prices, a lot more buyers will be able to get more profits, to get more benefits from selling the good. If you buy a book for $50 and someone offers you uh, $40 for it, well, you won't buy, you won't sell it because you will lose $10 in that transaction. So at a price of if the cost if the book costs you 50 at a price of 40, you won't sell. Now, if the price of the building, if someone offers you $60, an increase of $20 in the first offer you get, well, all of a sudden you will buy, you will probably sell the book because your benefit from selling the book are actually higher. So at higher prices, a lot more sellers actually benefit from selling the good. So the reason why the supply curve is so sloping is because the first, more firms perceive that the marginal benefit of producing the good has increased. That's C. Now this one I to understand you have um, simultaneous changes and to uh, to understand this one I, I my advice to you is to basically evaluate each situation differently and then uh, look at the choices you have. So let's see what the impact of the first one is. Well, it's a famous study determines that excessive listening to Katy Perry reduces short-term memory and other brain related functions and then the assumption that most people will not like to lose short-term memory people will demand less of Katy Perry and they'll be willing to pay less at every price. That will reduce competition for Katy Perry music, right? So the result of number one here, let's say that this is one and this is two. So the result of number one is that the price will go down and that the quantity will also go down. Now, number two has a different effect because number two, Katy Perry decides not to charge for the recording, maybe because she's concerned about not people buying her music. And um, so if you sell Katy Perry's music, music providers of Katy Perry's music are probably going to be able to produce more Katy Perry's music because one of the main inputs of Katy Perry's music, which is Katy Perry, is free. So the supply for Katy Perry's music will increase. 
if the supply increases the price goes down because there's less competition for Katy Perry's music but the quantity increases so here's how you evaluate these questions um, what happens to the price down down we know that goes down what happens to the quantity up down up we can't really say right so we have a mismatch here so we know that the price goes down for sure but the quantity we don't know because it's moving in different directions so that's what you're looking for price decrease and quantity uh, you don't know so um, a is not the answer b is not the answer c is the answer you see the price goes down but the quantity increase or decrease right so i think make sure keep your work organized in these questions and you should do fine with them same type of question, right? So let's do the same thing, do another practice on this. So um, Amazon and other sellers also begin offering more music online. Again, let's call this one number one, and let's call this one number two, right? So number one, well, there's a lot more sellers offering the price, offering the goods, so there's less competition. The price actually goes down, supply curve shift to the right, and the quantity goes up. Now number two, what we have here is the quality of music is more. Well, we can assume that more people are going to buy are going to buy more music because the music is better. So the demand curve shift to the right, and uh, that increases competition. So the price actually increases, and the quantity increases. So what we have here is the re the impact of the price. One is down, the other one is up. We don't know. So this is undetermined mismatch. This one, we know the quantity, we know that it goes up for sure. So what we're looking for is an answer that says price, we don't know, quantity goes up. It's asking for the price first, A, increase, that's not the answer. Um, decrease, decrease, not the answer. Decrease, increase, that's not the answer. Increase or decrease, and decrease is not the answer more. So the answer has to be something that says decrease, uh, increase or decrease or uh, and then increase so it's not here that's why in question it's a kind of trick i put a, this this question like this to kind of trick you to kind of force you to make sure that you know right so the right answer should be something that says this okay so in this question the right answer is not here in class i'll we'll talk about this i gave this answer to everyone in the clickers but in the exam you you'll see the right answer there and finally, there's an easy question here about if the price of chicken fat falls, if chicken and beef are substitutes, well, um, a decrease in the price of the inputs of chicken will reduce the price of chicken. So the price of chicken will go down, and if the price of chicken will go down, uh, people will buy more chicken and less beef, so the, the demand for beef will go down, and the price of beef will go down. So the answer here is A. And I think this is the last question. Yeah, so um, I hope you uh, this is uh, useful for you guys, and um, there's more, a lot more problems in the practice problems that you have on Applia. So there's no surprises in the exam. There's just going to be questions from these questions that we went over, the one that you did over went over on your TA sessions, and and the one on the practice session. Good luck.